talking to the star of the show, right? Uh -huh. I mean, I'm, I just, I'm the creator. I make it happen. Yeah. I wouldn't call myself the star, per se. Yeah, that's know, what I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if other people say it, then I can let them say it. But for me, I know. I'm know. i just the cat that's trying to make it happen here in Baltimore, man. You do this every week? Every Monday. Every Monday. Every Monday. 8.30 to 12 o'clock. <laughs> How do you get fresh material? How do I get fresh material? You gotta look at it. It's jazz, jazz, a whole repertoire from, what, 1920s to now. Yeah, so you just take... Yeah. Each week, I listen to some new music that I haven't heard in a while, or something that I love that I haven't played in a long time or haven't heard in a while. Actually today, the very first tune I played here tonight, I was listening to it around 5 o'clock. You know, chilling with the family. I'd never played it. Put it on, listen to it a few times, send it to the cats, pull the music up. The point of the session to come out and a lot of times play some music that you haven't played before stretch you know <laughs> so is it uh what do you call the name of your group well this band is just i just call it the session okay. this is my session rhythm section um i have three four three other bands you know that i have other names for but this band here is just the session band yeah. and i'm clarence ward the third <laughs> in the session that's it clarence ward the third in the session several instruments? Uh, I wouldn't count. It's hard to count because I play all woodwinds. I'm a saxophonist first. Mm -hmm. I did. Uh, I started playing sax around 15 at Dunbar High School under Charles Fund. Um, five, six, seven years after that, I picked up a trumpet to noodle around on it. Um, I played in the Ravens marching band. Actually, I, uh, a week after I picked up trumpet, I auditioned for the Ravens marching band. So uh, back then it was cool, yeah. you know. But um, I didn't take. I started taking trumpet seriously. Um, honestly, roughly eight eight years ago, mm -hmm. I picked it back up. I spent some time in the military on saxophone. Um, went back to college, came out, worked a regular job, and played here and there. Decided to pick trumpet back up. Spent some time on the road in between there. I've toured with artists like uh, Let It See. Uh, I played with Aretha Franklin. One of the, yeah. one of the greats. Uh, Sean Tate Ball. Like, hey, man, what's going on, brother? <laughs> How was that hit? One second. I don't want to interrupt. Tabor, Ethiopian restaurant is the last place we were at. Another black 
going worse world. It was fine for what it was. Um, we kind of grew out of that. We're here now. Terra Cafe is, for me, has been the best place. The energy, ambiance, the sound, and the crowd has been really good. Outside, you know, the day of the holiday, I'm surprised it's not crazy back, but, you know, <laughs> I take the good with the bad, man. Yeah. I'm, used, I'm used to a lot of pack nights, and if I get a couple of light nights, you know, I'll deal with it. So, so what's your ambition? You've done a lot. Um, I, I've done a lot, but I haven't done enough. <laughs> okay. Feel, you know, um, realistically, I don't have an album out under my own name yet. Um, I play with a lot of the cats, um, but that's my focus for the rest of this year. I may put out two albums, you know, um, as well as build the session. You know, Baltimore has so much great talent here. Session. The whole point of it is to bring everybody together, to showcase everybody else's talents outside of mine as well. Yeah. There is a young man in there playing the sax. Yeah. Where did you find him? Yeah, he's, um, his name is F. Dorsey. Uh, when he first started coming out, thank you. He was uh, maybe 13 when he first started coming out. Now he's, uh, he's 15 or 16. He's at the School of Music. Usually his younger sister, which is a year or two, they're a year or two apart. They usually come out together. They both kill the saxophone. They started young. And I always try to give them a lot of encouragement purely because, uh, I mean, the way they're playing right now, that 14, 15, I didn't pick up a horn until I was 15. You know, they're light years ahead of where I was when I actually started. You know, and that's part of my motivation to keep this type of thing going on. The next generation. interested in jazz? Um, these kids, yes. Um, what I'll speak on are the ones that take it in and the ones that, that show up here. Mm -hmm. They want it. Yeah. They're here each Monday just about. You know, as long as they keep coming, they can build their repertoire, build their confidence, language, you know, and see what it's like to be amongst professional musicians. Yeah, as I said before, I, I mean, I traveling the world and toured with, you know, artists. You know, I had a chance to share the stage with a jazz great, Stanley Turrentine, oh. Benny Ghost. You know, um, like I said before, Aretha Franklin, that's my highlight. Man. I played with a lot of folks, but when I played behind Aretha, I was truly in awe. Oh, really? And, yeah. I mean, <laughs> to the point where I almost cried on stage, man, and just the, the feel. I'm, a, I'm an emotional player. Yeah. And as an emotional player sometimes, man, you can't help but feel certain music a certain way. So you really feeling terrible now that she's gone? Oh, yeah, it hurt. Yeah. yeah it, it was a bad day. Yeah, it was a bad she, She's an ancestor now. She she has her time. She has all her music to leave behind with us. You know, 
other sad death that happened for us all was Roy Hargrove. The reason I play trumpet is because of the trumpet of Roy Hargrove. Okay. As a saxophonist um, here in Baltimore, uh, when I started at Dunbar High School, uh, one of the first jazz albums I heard was the Tokyo Sessions. That's Roy Hargrove and Antonio Hart. Antonio Hart is a Baltimore bred musician. He went to the School for the Arts. I was an alto player at first. I started on flute, went to alto, and I, I heard that album and um, I gravitated toward those two cats. I wanted to sound like Antonio Hart on alto saxophone. Then I was told I sound like Cannonball I, And all I wanted to sound like was Cannonball. <laughs> you know? But over time, I always had this thing for trumpet. You know? And with trumpet, I feel get it out the way early. A lot of people ask a lot of questions about my saxophone playing and my trumpet playing. It's two different fields. Uh, for trumpet, I feel more physically powerful the way that I am naturally. <laughs> I can naturally play and go as hard as I want. On saxophone, my sound sometimes is determined by a piece of wood. You know, sometimes when my sound is off, it mentally and emotionally bothers me. And I sometimes go, go where I need to go. You know, it's just it's me. You know, but on trumpet, no matter what, on flugelhorn, the power, the um, the power always comes out. For me, sound is everything. The first thing people hear is your sound. After that, you know, you can reel them in and do whatever you want with it. But if your sound, if my sound's not right, I'm you seem not right. to have an integrated group here. Integrated? Yeah. I guess that's a good word. For it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, integrated could work. You know. How do they find you? Um, I'm around, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm pegged as one of the, the hardest working, most working cats in Baltimore. Okay. And it's, I'm everywhere. You know, I try to mingle with a lot of different cats, a lot of levels of cats, because I, I want everybody to come together. I want people to understand and know the levels of, I mean, that, to know that there are more places than just New York. New York is the, is the place. But we do have cats here yeah. that are boss players. I mean, that a world-renowned player that can stand next to most cats around the world and still do, and handle their own. Yeah. And my job is to make sure cats have a chance to show them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, thanks a lot. Hey, appreciate you coming out. We're here every Monday. Right. Terra Cafe, 101 East 25th Street. Fire Squad, the third in the session. Come on out and have one. Uh -huh. Thank you.